What's up, Airsofters? Welcome to our first top 10 of 2020. For this year, we thought we'd start things off by talking a little bit about upgrades. Just a warning, installing aftermarket parts into your Airsoft replica voids the warranty. If you want to preserve your evic.com 45 day warranty, your best bet is to take advantage of our tech service and have us install the parts. Now, of course, you want to do that before it ships to you. That way, if anything happens, you're covered. If you're anything like me, the first thing you think about when you get a new AEG is how can I make it better? Shoot faster, farther, more accurately? Or if you're exactly like me, how can I change literally everything about it? Except, you know, the shell, the outer shell. Not because I need to, but because I want to. But where do you start? What if you don't have the budget to get everything all at once? There are so many options and it can get confusing. That's why we're doing a two-part video exclusively on AEG upgrades. Part one will cover all of the upgrades we always recommend first, those being the ones that you can do without opening the gearbox shell. Part two will cover more advanced upgrades that you need to open the gearbox to install. But right now we're gonna show you my personal top six upgrades that can be applied almost universally to any AEG. If you have a different opinion from something that I recommend in this video, I would love to hear about it. Airsoft is highly personalized and very customizable, almost infinitely. So if you have a setup or a build that you like or would recommend to another Airsofter, I wanna hear about it. Now then, Let's get started. When someone asks me, what's the first thing I should upgrade on my AEG, I always tell them the same three things. Barrel, bucking, and hop-up chamber. In that order. A precision inner barrel can boost your FPS and dial in the most important factor of any airsoft gun, accuracy. Inner barrels, are typically very easy to swap out by yourself and can drastically improve BB flight consistency, AKA accuracy. Some inner barrels I like to recommend are made by Prometheus, PDI, or EDGI, or Edgy if you've been around for a long time. All tried and true options. But a somewhat newer option that you might wanna take a look at is Lambda. The one and five series of inner barrels from Lambda have some of the best bore surfaces available today and are offered at a very competitive price, usually around the 40 to $80 mark, depending on the length and type. I would suggest the one series if you want a lot of range during semi-auto use and the five series if you plan on using a lot of full auto. Getting an inner barrel that's the right length can depend on a few factors, like the weight of the BB that you're using and what sort of cylinder is in your gearbox. Give us a call if you'd like some advice or if you wanna match the length of your stock barrel, check the product listing on our website. An upgraded inner barrel can only do so much, unless it's also paired with a high quality upgraded bucking and nub. Together, an upgraded barrel and bucking system can really help you tighten up your groups and push your range even farther. Buckings and nubs are not only really affordable, usually around the $10 mark, but they're also really easy to install. Some of our favorites are the Prometheus Purple, the Maple Leaf Series, and also Modify as well as Lonix. If all you have is 10 or 20 bucks to upgrade something on your AEG, a better bucking is hard to beat. If you're not sure which is the best for you, give us a call and we'll help you out. Now in order to maximize the performance of both the barrel and the bucking, I really recommend going to a precision hop-up chamber. These upgraded chambers are usually made out of CNC finished aluminum and offer great shot-to-shot -shot consistency when compared to a stock part. And that's achieved in two ways, using stiffer materials like this aluminum to eliminate flex and fitting more perfectly around the bucking, improving air seal. Some aftermarket hop-ups allow for more precise tuning on the adjustment wheel, letting you dial in your shots perfectly. For between $30 and $80, these upgraded hop-ups aren't too expensive, but they are model specific. An M4 hop-up chamber won't fit in an AK and vice versa. So you need to make sure you get the right one for your AEG. 
Some of the upgraded chambers that we recommend are made by Proin, Max, and RetroArms, all of which have models for ARs and AKs. If you've got another system, availability can be hit or miss, so double check the website or give us a call if you're looking for something a little bit more specific. The motor is what drives your AEG, and upgrading the motor can provide a noticeable performance increase. Motors are typically very easy to change in most AEGs and can massively improve the rate of fire, trigger response, and even pull heavier springs. They're also not all that expensive, usually around the $40 to $60 mark. The tricky part about upgrading motors is that there isn't one motor that can do it all. Some spin faster and some pull harder. And getting the right one for you depends on a lot of factors. There really isn't an exact X equals Y formula for predicting the performance from a specific motor upgrade, but there are a ton of forums and discussion groups online. Or you can give us a call and we can help you choose the right motor for your build. To help you make an informed decision, we wanted to do our best to do something that we didn't see a whole lot of retailers doing, and that's list information about the motors, like the TPA, right on our website. The TPA, or turns per armature, refers to the number of wire wraps of wire on the internal bits of the motor. Additionally, some motors will have a number in their name, like 30K or 40K, and this refers to how many revolutions per minute it makes at a certain voltage. Unfortunately, manufacturers don't really advertise what that voltage is, so don't rely too heavily on the exactness of that number. Just do a little research and give us a call if you have any questions. All that being said, it's really hard to go wrong with any of the Matrix, Teenly, or ASG motors, like the Boost or the Infinity. The Infinity motors are my personal favorites and I happen to use them in a lot of my builds. Again, there's a lot that goes into picking an exact motor. But for most stock gearboxes, a 30K Boost or 30K Infinity is an excellent choice. Now I know what you're thinking. The battery isn't an upgrade, and in fact, the battery isn't often thought of as an upgrade. In fact, it's most of the time overlooked. But if you're not using a good battery, then you aren't getting the most out of your AEG. That's not to say that you have to go with a LiPo battery, but going with a higher quality battery can increase your performance. If the motor is the engine that powers the gearbox, then the battery is the fuel. A higher voltage battery, like an 11.1 volt, is like using higher octane gasoline that spins the motor faster. A battery with more milliamperage is like having a bigger gas tank, meaning that you can run longer. Now, obviously, I've really oversimplified the whole battery situation, but I hope that gets you in the right state of mind. Some batteries we recommend are the Matrix LiPo batteries and the Titan Lithium Ion, which are really kind of the pinnacle of airsoft battery technology right now. These lithium ion cells have a ton of capacity for their size and offer improved performance over traditional NICAD and NIMH batteries. Just make sure you're using a proper lithium battery charger for your lithium battery. Good way to tell is it'll say something like digital lithium battery charger on it. Words, they're so helpful. Upgrading to a high performance battery can have a huge impact on your game, improving trigger response and increasing your rate of fire, but it's important to know that a more powerful battery will also increase wear and tear, like throwing race gas in a stock car. Sure, it'll go faster, but it'll also add a lot more stress to the whole system. Now there's a big, big caveat here. For the most part, Modern Airsoft AEGs are capable of handling a 7.4 volt or 11.1 volt LiPo battery. But without a MOSFET, you can risk damaging the trigger contacts and the other components. Having a MOSFET to regulate voltage surges and amperage draw can go a long way to making the whole system a lot more reliable, in addition to boosting performance. Not to mention, they come with some pretty useful features. Assuming you've already upgraded everything I've talked about earlier in this video, the last upgrade I'll recommend to get is really gonna get the most out of your AEG performance, and that is a MOSFET. Many newer AEGs come with a built-in MOSFET, so if you have one of those, you're set. But if not, then you're gonna wanna get one, and here's why. A MOSFET will regulate and protect your high-performance battery, maximizing the effect of that increased voltage and shielding your AEG trigger contacts, motor, and wiring from undue stress. Not only that, 
But a MOSFET can help you notably improve your trigger response, helping you make hits that you might have otherwise missed due to trigger lag. Since this video is only covering upgrades that you can do without opening the gearbox, we'll only be talking about inline MOSFETs in this video that really connects between your battery and your wiring. Make sure to watch our follow-up video about inside gearbox upgrades where we'll talk more about advanced trigger board MOSFETs. An inline MOSFET will cost about the same as a high-end battery, usually between $20 and $80, depending on what features you want. Some models are even capable of being programmed with different fire modes, things like three or five round burst, adjustable pre-cocking, or the ability to lock your trigger to semi-only for special events that require it. The inline MOSFETs that I recommend are the Gate Murph 3.2 Burst or the Gate Warfet. For the price, these offer a lot of features and will fit in most battery compartments. And perhaps the most attractive feature of these MOSFETs is that they aren't a permanent part of a system. If I wanted, I could simply unplug it from one AEG and then spend a few minutes programming it for another AEG. I'm not locked into having it into only one platform. The versatility of these little guys is not something you should underestimate. Not to mention, if you have one of those weird gearboxes, this might be your only commercially available option for getting a MOSFET. Thankfully, it's a formidable one, offering much of the same utility and protection as their more advanced trigger board MOSFET counterparts. Reach out to us if you have any questions about any of the upgrades that we've talked about in this video. Inner barrels, buckings, hop-ups, motors, batteries, MOSFETs, there's a lot going on here. Contact info is in the description. And guys, ask questions in the comments section. We'll be there with lots of other viewers having valuable, knowledgeable conversations and sharing our experience. The comment section is a great place to get questions answered if you have any questions about Airsoft or about the internal upgrades that you can do to make your AEG even better. If you want info on the latest product updates, inspiration from photos on other builds that have been done, or you want to check out the latest releases in the Airsoft scene, make sure you're subscribed to all of our social media accounts, including our Facebook and Instagram, and follow us here on YouTube. Click that bell notification icon to be notified of our latest video release. As always, play hard, play safe, and play responsibly. We'll see you guys later. Right now, we're gonna show you my personal top six recommended upgrades that can be applied almost universally to any AEG. Celebratory horn. <laughs>